Into the Yakuza. What? Don't sweat it, Chairman. Us young folks can handle this chap. Oh, definitely. My stomach's a bottomless pit. Bon appetit! Hell yeah! We got so focused on our food that we forgot to actually discuss anything. Oh, it is damn good. Yeah, yeah. We have to get down to business. Guess I'm kicking us off. This is Kumekun, leader of Bleach Japan's Yokohama branch. He's going to run for this district's representative seat in the next election. Now what you gotta understand about this kid is he's just step one of Ryo Aoki's scheme to turn Jincho into his personal political machine. Zhao's correct. Kume is just one step. Aoki's other steps include a huge number of Bleach Japan candidates all over the country. Yeah. I noticed that, too. Uh, and the dam is broken. There's no stopping it now. Governor Aoki's too popular. There's no one who can stand up to him. So you think Kume's win is a done deal, Chairman Oshino? Pretty much. Kume has Aoki's broad public adoration at his back. Throwing Aoki's fundraising and media savviness. Kume's got a very real shot at this. I'd say so. He wants Ijincho so bad, it's gotten personal for him. Since it was Ogikubo's kingdom before, seizing it makes Aoki the new heir apparent. That's gotta be what he's thinking. Yes. I'd venture to say that even if the Citizens' Liberal Party wins every other district, he won't be satisfied unless he wins this one. He's gonna throw everything he's got at this contest. Definitely. Well, I'm not gonna roll over and just take it. Anybody with me? With you on what? On taking this dude down a peg. I'm sick of getting our asses kicked. We all are, but... We can't just let him win. We need to do something. I mean, Leech Japan is in bed with the Omi Alliance. Isn't that fucked up? It's... You know, hypocritical. They go around preaching about how gray zones need to go, acting like they're heroes or something. Meanwhile, they team up with gangsters to take over Japan, and everyone just claps for them? Thing is, Kasuga, these gangsters have a governor on their side. They're untouchable. Are you guys even hearing yourselves right now? What's gotten into you? The Ejin Three used to protect the weak and vulnerable in this town. Granted, you did it by running a huge scam, so I'm not gonna give you too much credit. But after everything the city's given you, don't you feel like you owe something to it? Look, I know none of you guys did what you did just for the money. Okikubo was the one raking in all the dirty riches. You guys wanted to stop a war from destroying this town. And if you don't stand up now, you're basically abandoning the Ejin Three's purpose. It's a discreet- You sure you want to finish that thought? Yeah, dial it down, or I'll set you straight. Well, I for one agree with him. What? Uh, you do? Everything you said is true. We all lived in the Grey Zones, and sure, that ain't something to be proud of. But at least we could be proud of putting food on the tables of our men and their families. You're with me on that, at least. Right, Songwei? If we roll over, we will be throwing away everything we've ever worked. Zhao. No, it's true. And remember, I left the Liulong in your hands. I trusted you to consider what my men need. This is shaping up to be your first job as their new boss. Come on, Song Hui. Damn it. Fine. Uh, Chairman Hoshino, you got any wisdom of your own to lend us? Well... I do understand the need to be fair to the city. I'll help. And to think, <laughs> I only came here for the food. Didn't expect to get roped into some noble last stand. 
You know what they say. There's no such thing as a free lunch. True. True that. Now let's go take care of Kume. I have to admit, I will enjoy knocking that little punk off his pedestal. So what's a move? Good question. We need to strike, but how? Don't you think it's obvious? No. What? We need to ruin the young master's reputation. Meaning? We gotta make sure Kume loses the election. How do you propose we do that? Um, that part I hadn't really figured out. But once we do, it'll be like kicking Aoki right in the face! I don't see how it's feasible. I mean, we could maim him. If he's too injured, he'd have to pull out of the race, and then... You wanna kill him? Well, only if he resists. We can't do that. If he dies, they'll just replace him with some other tool. I'm sure they've got backup candidates waiting in the wings. Hey, winning. That's how we do it. We just win it ourselves. Huh? We win the election with our own candidate. Put someone up who can get more votes than Kume. There's got to be someone out there who can do it. Yes, probably. But how do we figure out who this someone is? We're not political consultants. Well, we should remember the votes for Kume aren't really for him in the first place. Their votes for Aoki. Good point. Can you think of anyone who fits the bill, Chairman Hoshino? Unfortunately, I can't say I do. Ogi Kubo was an incumbent here for many years, but no opponents who posed any real threat. The only people who ever ran against him just did so as a formality. Hey, you seem to know a lot about it. Why don't you run? Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, people know who you are. You've got charisma. No Yakuza's gonna win an election, even in the Gene Show. If he did, I'd consider the world doomed. <laughs> Seriously. But I could try to recruit someone who would have a chance in the race. That's a start. I hope you're not expecting me to shoulder this burden alone, though. What do you mean? Elections cost money. A lot of money. If I find a candidate, who's footing the bill for the campaign? Mm -mm. I'll tell you right now, my people don't have a single yen to spare. Right. So, uh, how much is it exactly? I'm willing to chip in some myself. But I'll need an additional three million yen cash just to register. Three million? You need that much? At a minimum. If you can't scrape that amount together, this plan is dead in the water. <sighs> I hate to say it, but he's right. Can you do it, Kasuga-kun? We only have 16 million in her purse. Don't tell nobody. Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time we finished Chapter 11, we're starting Chapter 10. What the heck am I doing here? I need 3 million yen to bring the fight to the young master. Not exactly pocket change. Once I have the money, I guess I can throw back some drinks to the bar until chairman can win. So it looks like I can just go ahead and go straight to the the uh, we have 13 million. That's not a big deal. So what I kind of wanted I have a smartphone back. Oh no. Oh god. Alright, so we're gonna start first. I'll see you in a second. Alright, so this is what I decided. I feel like we need some levels here. Like, trying to find a good number for everybody to be at. Oh! It burns. It burns. Hmm? What? The hell just happened to him? <laughs> I mean, seriously, though. Wait. This uh, is selling it all. Ooh. How about you, young man? I bought some cube sheets. Worked with a fresh new batch. Is it fresh, strictly speaking, but not calling it old and rotten now? I oh, won't, well, but why are you selling kimchi out here? Ah. Why are you living, of course? Let's be out of the city, talking to the locals. They're good for advertising. I guess. So, how about it? Want to try a little sample? 
Oh, can I? Yeah, you might as well. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> Just having it in front of me makes my mouth water. Alright, here goes nothing. Just right amount of crunch, and it's got a nice cake. Oh, wait, this is more than a cake. Holy, oh, oh my. Hip! <laughs> uh. <clears throat> well, did you like it? You bastard! Did I like it? What is in that stuff? It's like chewing hot glass. Whew! Okay, I think I'm going down now. Huh? Ooh. You know, now that Spice War, I can actually take the rest of it. It's good. No, it's really good. It's that sort of pepper pepperness to it, maybe a spice along a hidden flavor. It's really kicked my butt. I kind of want more. Yo. You gotta tell me, Gramps. Wasn't the kimchi? <laughs> it seems you want to appreciate the finer subsidy of the kimchi. Kudos to you. Come on, I use a secret pepper. You get a subtle... I don't know how to say that word. Unlike any other, not to mention the heck of a bite. And the Devil's Claw, by the way. You won't find it in a market, that's for sure. Devil's Claw? No wonder it's not. Mm. Unfortunately, not everyone can beat the intensity. Most people take off running before they can discover its true potential. That's what the other dude was running around all crazy. Give the works one under your health, particularly your skin. But well, suppose it's hard to sell that screaming bloody murder. Yeah? <sighs> oh, just like a punch. Thought I was gonna die for a second. No one ever died eating camp cheese. It's enjoyed by people of all ages. Mm. That being said, it sounds like no one sh around here should take once my kimchi. It makes me very sad. Yeah, I can imagine how crazy one little pepper has so much heat. Oh, yes. And there are peppers that and more just spice. Some are so much sweeter than cherry tomatoes. All that aside, I firmly believe the cabbage fermented with devil's club results in a truly amazing kimchi. <laughs> well, I'm glad at least one person tried it. This means so much reassuring. I don't think what I can get. You can't do it your mouth before you start going to enjoy it. Uh. No one can handle the heat. This my kimchi's going nowhere. A product that work won't sell is no good. Anyway, I think I'll close up shop for today. How about you take the rest home? Take this batch off my hands. Mm -hmm. Whoa, you sure? Talk. Yeah, eat it all. Give it to your friends. Do whatever you like. As for me, I'm gonna shuffle on out of here. Mm. It's a nice gesture, but I can't imagine who would want to eat this. Miracle kimchi. Huh. Yes, we are. Is that not a sub story? Huh. Okay. Alright, I have a guy here. I have a talking bubble. It usually gives me some. You call that a drink? Oh. Give me a double shot this time. Sir, haven't you had enough? I think you should call it a day. I thought it was the bartender's job to give people their drinks. <sighs> You're being unreasonable, sir. I'm only concerned for your health. You should at least have a sip of water. So you're cutting me off? Way to make a man feel unwanted! Sir, can you please calm down? You're causing a scene right now. Yo, mind if I step in? Huh? Buddy, just take the water and chill. You'll feel a lot better. You know what? You all are a bunch of buzzkills. I'm taking my business elsewhere. Okay. The heck was his deal? He's not a regular, is he? He sort of is. It was actually Il Yoo Jin, a former Korean megastar. You didn't recognize him? Nah, unfortunately I can't begin to keep up with that stuff. Pretty crazy to run into somebody famous here of all places, though. That's a first for me. Well, he's retired from the industry now. Got caught up in a scandal. He always had such a clean image, too. I guess fame changes people. Today wasn't even the worst I've seen him. Hope he's not causing trouble somewhere else. A former star, huh? A fading star. I guess that's what we're gonna work on today. It's not like we have much to do today besides try to grind stuff out. All right, let's go find this man. All right, Bar Rodriguez is where our man at. <laughs> It's be amazing, you know, I had a face that could stop traffic. Well, I ran out of an entire department store just so I could shop. Otherwise, fans are just buzzing around me like flaws. Being a star's not easy, you know. You know, I'll get me started on taxes. Those government mosquitoes will bleed a man to drive. Am I right? Hey, you hearing me? No, I wasn't listening to begin with. Can you go away now? Huh? Excuse you. A little wedge and gives you time of day and you just brush them off? You should be wetting your pants right now. I'm gonna start stilting a pain in the butt. Let's get involved. Yes, Go. 
Hey, I know you're a big star and all, but it doesn't give you an right to crash and land in every trick and hold the city. You've had enough. Excuse me? If you think you're my mother, you'd be out of your mind chastising me. You made a former look. Huh? You just had to go insult me, didn't you? Well, I'm done. It was punchy bag. Time to turn yours in, jerk face. Dude, you're probably getting some low. 20. Well, I don't want to do much this fight. I mean, 10 grand ain't a bad call. Only like 2.9 more to go. Well, that sober you up a bit? It wasn't. This would be this way. Mm. Great, now he's crying. Can't a man. Can't believe anyone's crying, can you? We're gonna look him around somewhere. Come on. Man, this guy's a Yo. Come on. Yeah. Can you always stand? Wow. Low screen that takes a while. That's unusual. Uh, how about now? Feeling a bit better? Yeah, I'm drawing a blank on what happened, but it's all coming back in bits and pieces. You can probably recall being a douche, and for some reason my entire body hurts. Yeah, as it should. I feel like I need to apologize. I've really hit a new low. I used to be inspir inspired millions, and, or now this is the poster boy for alcoholism. Yeah? You see, I'm an actor from Korea. I used to be all kinds of movies. Yeah, I heard you wasn't your name, uh... Oh, freak. Uh... What was that thing? What? Right? That's it. Oh, wait, somebody remembers me. That always makes me happy. That reminds me. Who are you again? Yeah. Just call me Kostika. So, draw to your cellars or the waterfall of booze. That, that'll pickle you over, you know? I don't care. It's like I need a working lover in the first place. <laughs> Let's pickle it. Come on, man. People used to adore me. I thought I had it made. Yeah, I heard from the staff you were kind of Korean superstar. I wish I knew more about it, but I don't. Yeah. No, it's fine. That was ages ago, anyway. Listen, why does a famous guy like you need to binge out here? Here's a story. About a decade ago, I appeared in all kinds of movies from here to Korea. It was hectic, but I was really living the dream. Maybe I had the best major guy I could ever have. Never could have held up without her. Heck, she was there for me when I made it big. She had charm, she had style, and she was really one of a kind, and everyone in the business loved her. What'd you do to her? Then one day, she caught me in the eye. She caught the eye of one big name producer. Hmm? What do you mean? Hi. Well, she ran across a legend in the industry. He was involved in every flick that mattered, and he always got what he wanted. I'm sure you know the type. I think he was also known for a sleazy douche, and I came to be with an offer. He gave me the biggest role in my career for a one night alone with my manager. Oh. Shh. Douche is right. Obviously, I turned him down repeatedly. But it came the day that Monster took my manager into his car and started forcing himself on Right in front of my- What the freak?! The only thing that go through my mind was Protector, and before I realized it, I knocked his putt out. As a result, he got the press of Spirit campaign against me, and it worked. He got me forced out of the business before I knew what happened. How did the producer not get any flack for this? He framed it like he was the victim. And the worst part is, he's still doing it out there. Except now everybody loves him. Damn. What the crap? You're okay- It's really ironic what's going on with the story. Did you say? Yeah. Of course, not protesting would make things worse, particularly for my own manager. He tried to the business to work at home with her family. They grew a boy. I have no idea how to say that either, or something like that. Anyway, I don't want to cause her any more grief. Besides, I did assault a man, that much is true. Mm. Oh. Maybe there was a smarter way to handle things, but at the time I couldn't think of it. I let my friends down and ruined my career as one punch. I cleaned up the damage I worked so hard to keep, was shattered in a night. <sighs> the story you got there. Maybe I was still drunk. I've seen blabber more than usual. If you feel better to let it all out, I'll listen. <laughs> you say but I have to hurt? But oh. Well, you said no, that wasn't what I meant. You alright? Hold on, I'll get you some water. See, see. Sorry, you gotta get away from me. Oh god, it's that guy again too. Uh I 
good feeling it's by my side. Oh, oh that's a... Uh... Is there... Thanks. Where the f is it water around here? Like... Says hold on. It says coffee, right? The freak is the coffee. Is there another store around here? Over there. We'll do Dragon Card again one other time. Dang, why is the diamonds red for now? We'll get some water over here. Dang it, I missed a freaking other thing. So we get destroyed. The coffee shop didn't have water. This little food truck doesn't have water. The freaking merch shop has the water. Cicada? I mean, it was cicada season here. I haven't seen one in a while. How far enough to go? I really don't want to deal with another fight around then. Yeah, I thought like two people would wait over there. If four red does isn't bad, it's just Mildly inconvenient. Here, give some water. Yo. Yeah, he's like, I'm Ah, that's a ticket. You're a lifesaver. Man, I hope none of your fans recognize you like this. Tell me about it. I've been stabbing at strangers from Bali. Probably barged it wrong. No, I've had success. You guys, you were what you sound. <laughs> Look at me. Ten years, ten years gone by, nothing to show for. I guess that brings right inside my Japanese and Peru and I drink myself into oblivion, but that's about it. Just oh. be an actor here. An actor who's lost all his fans and just a weak little person pretending to be someone they're not. Oh. Hey, enough of the tears already. Make it your something else. Uh, no. Excuse me. By any chance, are you. You Sama? Oh, no. You couldn't be. You do look a lot like. Mm -hmm. You mean. You Sama? Yeah, back in the day, there was an amazing idea. You. Everyone my generation was in love with him. Whenever they appeared on the screen or in public, you can hear screaming fans blocks away. Wow. Ah, oh, it sounded like he was a practically warship. Oh, yeah, so when I came across him just now, I thought he was like, seen right out of wa our Winter Sonata. Your symbols is uncanny. What, you just have it on you? Thank you. Wow, the really is pretty crazy. Yes, but the film's a masterpiece. I can't really say backwards and forth. Sarong. <laughs> so the Korean, I know. You know, I met my husband at the this part. Could you believe we're both going to uh, kind of pretty much whatever you saw it was filmed? Whoa, so he was a big fan too? <laughs> oh, you make very surprised that many men like his films. Of course, we hit it off right away. <laughs> Guess it helps to have that in common, huh? You could say, whenever we want to sell, we always find ourselves back here. We love to walk and talk. And of course, how it could always be about Yusama. Today, actually, the anniversary of my husband's passing, so instead of I'm so instead I'm walking and reflecting and enjoying our memories we made. Oh, I didn't realize. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, don't be. Be able to talk about Yusama, but I'm thinking of the good old days. Yusama, I hope you're out there. You'll return to so much screen someday. I wonder where you are and what you're doing now. As long as you're healthy and happy, it's all it's good enough for me. <laughs> Think yourself a pretty lucky guy having fans like you. Oh no. There's an old lady too much time on her hands. We also have fans of a place where I'm out of heart, so you can come back anytime. I've been right throughout my life, and I'm sure I'm not alone in that. I hope you said you felt this is what nobody wanted to do for a granted return. Turn one star, you know. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm sure I've talked to you off. Nice seeing you boys again. Take care now. Yo. Hey, you forgot your pamphlet. Don't you want it? Well, not you have it? I always have ten more at home. Oh. Okay, thanks. You're a true fan. You're not gonna say anything, buddy? <laughs> so what was that again about losing all your fans? I hope you're paying attention just now. That lady spoke nothing but good things about you. It's fallen the whole time. Try to kiss the ground you walk on. I know, she was very kind. So all you do is drink yourself to death. Wouldn't that just break her heart? Same for all your friends? Maybe so. I am gonna use my friends as an excuse. When I'm in reality, I want to escape the pain for what I've done. I'm the one who deserted them. Now I've told him out in front of me that now I can footing I need. Make sure I can keep my journey. So you're taking my around? Hey. Yeah, I want to be an actor again. Even if one person gets the leg, I can just do it for them. And I'm all for it. Go get them. Hey. First things first, I have to get back in shape. Work out the spill beer belly and all that. So I do that. In any case, catch you later, Constantine. Okay. See ya. Huh? That easy? A 
Oh god, there's so. Uh, hold on one sec. All right, our buddy. Oh come on, don't. Okay, good. Well, howdy, Illusion. We make your turn. Yep. And? Mm hmm. Hey, that's Illusion. What's he doing? Man, they got a picture of you stirring up crap at the Rogerie just recently. Huh? I hate to think what would happen if these pictures of you got out. Sure it would mess up your showbiz, right? Dang it. Mm. That conversation's not looking good. Eh, let's call out. Yo. What's going on here? Oh, oh Costa good. Oh, oh what was it? Yucky. Carter and Crown. Perfect timing. What's the interview you two do? Hey, who's this guy? It's a Suki song? We're free on journals. Respect the profession. Anyway, it just happened to be at Broadway at the time of you two airing it out. Peter's, well, you saw it still in a violent streak, uh, the heck? Yeah, see, the perfect headline. You saw it at it again, former star turned savage. <laughs> Not bad if I do say so myself. I have to earn the lobster dinner here. Yo. What are you talking about? It's obvious, isn't it? These pictures are gonna make me worth a fortune. If you found out you're assaulted someone not once but twice, wouldn't life itself be over for you? <laughs> Look, I'll make you a deal. Trade the picture for 50 million. Small price to pay for your entire future, don't you think? What? That's crazy. Hey. All right, hold up. Where are the bar between me and him? Nothing happened. That's the end of it. I don't care what you say. All I need is to talk crap, take crap out of context, and that's all people believe. Creative liberties, you know? Now, I hope you're not going around explain to explain the first to the person the person what happened. <laughs> don't think so. Oh, you're just giving me the money, not that hard of choice. You're right. This isn't a choice at all. Oh? Yeah. You don't figure a single year for you. I know this game when I see one. <laughs> Hey. You. Delete this picture now, or I won't, or I won't let you step on his career. What? You think you intimidate? Would think I'm some kind of traitor? Dude? There used to be big, scary guys like you. People who think writers are me like powerless. I'll teach you all a lesson. Oh yes, I do. Maybe I should share this lesson with you. A lesson in pure pain. Well, it's gonna be summer. Whatever, whatever. Girls to hear the man yourself. Yakuza pale. I'm not Yakuza. Don't waste my time. You're level 20. You took one attack. I'll take the 10,000 though. You fraud. I can't believe you decked your producer over a bad contract. A contract? Yeah. To my understanding, he wanted more money, so he went and socked the guy. There was a time that this was all the news talked about. No. The only reason he did that was to get his manager out of a jam. Wait. What's this about his manager? That producer you seem to love so much actually tried to force himself on Il Yujin's manager. So in the heat of the moment, he did what he could to protect her. And to make sure she wasn't dragged into the spotlight, Il Yujin kept quiet. That's why... That's enough, Kasuga-san. Only the people involved need to know. Yeah, but... Wait, if your manager was a lady... Actually, I do know that producer had a terrible rep as a womanizer. And come to think of it, the whole fighting over money spiel was penned directly by him. Could that mean... You really did all that for your manager's sake? And you kept it a secret all this time? Even at the cost of your career? Suzuki-san, I will tell you this only once. Do not speak of this to anyone. I'm not gonna let some media clown track down my manager and ruin her life again. If something like that does happen, you will be the one who pays. You look at me like that, I can tell you're not bullshitting. You protected her all right. Looks like I'm the fraud here. Instead of doing proper research, I only swallowed up the hype. Some journalist I am. All right, I deleted the pictures. Not a single one remains. Good. Kasuga-san, you really helped me turn my life around. Thank you. What can I say? You're a star with staying power. Keep your chin up, guy. <laughs> I certainly will try. But I do have the weight of what I've done hanging over my shoulders. Neither the media nor Suzuki-san had it wrong. I hit one man and caused others grief. My first order of business is to own up to what I've done. Make things right. 
Only then can I aim to be how I once was. An actor who touched people's hearts. <sighs> well, if that lady at the park is anyone to go by, I'd say you're off to a great start. <laughs> Maybe so. Here, why don't you have this? My way of saying thanks. A bullet of memory? This game well, is weird stuff. I guess it's so long for now. See ya. Bah. Huh? What was that just now? Oh, nothing to worry about. I took a picture of Yusama's first step forward. Been a while since I posted about an actor not screwing up his life. Who knew it felt so good to support someone? Yeah. So rather than yet another scandal, how about I cook up something a little more uplifting? Oh. An actor's road to redemption. Il Eugene announces spectacular return to showbiz. Well, how's that sound? Not bad at all. One of these days, I'll get him to give me an interview. Not about his past, but what he plans for the future. After seeing how different he is, even the most jaded critic would give him another chance. Got that right. Guess I'll leave the journalism to you, then. Ah. Should have got me his autograph. Ah! That's where you wanted to go, you... Uh, Ichiban. What? Guys, next time on Yakuza Like a Dragon, let's do some more side stuff. See you,